So show me this energy here of this person. Show me what the collective told you. This person, hold on. Runner. So whoever ran away from you, this now this person is like thinking about you heavily. Heavily. This person is heavily in your energy collective. All right. This is somebody that sabotaged the connection, but I feel like they did it on purpose for their own selfish gain. I feel like this person is going through some legal trouble because they've done something in excess. Okay, whether this was something, we'll see. Show me more. <clears throat> you know what's so crazy? You don't miss this person and you've let them go. You don't miss this person and you've let them go. Missing you is here in reverse, clinging, holding on to you. And it's it's in reverse. So this is somebody you let go that you don't miss. Okay. So let's just see. The runner. <laughs> Show me about this person here. Who's in their ego? Who has this big ego? Mm-mm-mm. This person knows that they're going to get it, but they really think that they are, um, what is it called when somebody, um, I forget the words here, like this is someone here who just feels like they are immune or immortal or, immortal or something. Show me more about this person. Yeah, look at this shit. Look at this shit. Five of Wands, the Empress in Reverse. Some of y'all, this is the Divine Feminine that's done this to you. Doesn't have to be a masculine, okay? The Six of Cups. This is somebody from your past. For some of y'all, this could be your mother. This could be anybody. This could be like really anybody. The regard, because male or female, this is somebody here who thinks they are. They are definitely in their ego, and they think they're stronger than what they actually are. But what they don't realize is is that they are not immune. They are not immortal. Immortal. They're actually weak. Which is why I feel like they prey on other people. Somebody here could even be preying on kids. I don't know. Somebody might be exposed about child abuse or uh, there's some conflict over some form of accusations. Conflict. Accusations. Somebody here could be a Taurus. <sighs> yeah. I see why this person is going through it and they're watching their life just go up in flames and up in smoke. But this person never thought that oh, I, they were untouchable. You're not untouchable. Show me more about this person and their energy. King of Cups in reverse. Child, it's more, it's two people here. The Eight of Wands. Somebody here could be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, or a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. But we do have strong water and strong uh, air. It sees me strong water and strong earth out here. So this is somebody here, like I said, it's playing victim. They create the drama, they create the chaos, and then they sit back and they just like laugh at it. Like they think it's real funny and they feel like they're immune to this shit. Mm. Show me more here about this person. <laughs> This is somebody who is insensitive of, of other purpose, other people's feelings here. They blame other people like they play victim. This is giving like Karen energy or, or you know what I'm saying? Or Kyle energy. Yeah, this is somebody who's a damn bully who think they're a bully and think they're immune and they're not immune. You weak, you're weak as fuck is what you are. Excuse my language. You're manipulative. Someone here is a very manipulative person and they think like I, they can keep doing this. The judgment. <laughs> I'm telling you judgment in reverse Scorpio energy. This person feels like judgment is not going to be called against them. I'm telling you, this person lacks remorse. That's that judgment in reverse energy. I told y'all from the very beginning before the reading started, I feel it. Energy, somebody's big in their ego. They think they are immune. They think they are fucking, um, you know, vampire or some shit. Yeah. I mean, that's that judgment in reverse energy. Like, oh, you think you could be risen from the dead? I no. This is somebody who's very selfish. Okay, this is somebody who's very, very oh, child, look at this. High Priestess in Reverse Pisces energy. 
Somebody could definitely be a Pisces. The Nine of Cups and the Four of Cups is out here with the, the High Priestess in reverse. This is definitely somebody here who's manipulative for sure. Okay. But the thing is, they are weak. They think they are stronger than what they actually are. That's what's so crazy. Like this person doesn't even see themselves for, it's like this person has some form of like disillusion, a little bit of delusional energy. Like this person is definitely, their life is crumbling and their ass is falling into it right here. And now they do not know what to do because they've, they've done these things out of self control to have control over a situation or to have control over people, this nine of cups is falling underneath this empress in reverse, which is telling me this person did it for selfish gain. They don't care about anyone else. Real manipulative energy, y'all. I'm telling you. Let's see what else we got here. Hold on. Three of Cups, Cancer energy, the Temperance, Sagittarius energy. So six of Swords in reverse with the Seven of Cups in reverse. I'm telling you, man, this is definitely delusional ass energy, like I said. <laughs> it's not funny. Delusional as hell. This person is resisting healing. This person is resisting change. You know, this is the thing. This person is in so much turmoil. This person's life is in such disarray or in imbalance. This person may come across as someone who's extremely balanced, but they are not. Maybe this person looks and appears like they're emotionally balanced or that their life is, is not in shambles and they're well put together because, you know, maybe they dress nice and you know they smile every day when they're talking to people and they show up to work on time or they pick their kids up from daycare on time but this person's life is in shambles like it's in disarray five of wands is out here with the six of swords in reverse this is straight turmoil the six of swords in reverse is next to temperance. There's no healing. There's no protection. There's no balance. There's no harmony. Somebody could technically even be dealing with mental illness here too, um, to be quite honest, or whatever this person is kept doing. It's like this person's gone mad or some shit. I don't know what this is. I don't, child, I don't know. You know, <sighs> I'm just going to say this. Somebody could be doing some form of spell work or magic because we got the high priestess in reverse with the seven of cups in reverse and we have temperance and then we have the six of swords in reverse. And that's telling me whatever magic or spells that they're attempting to do doesn't work. Somebody thinks that they are in some form of like they may do some form of divinity work or any something like that. They think it's working, but it is not. Show me more here about this situation. There also, too, could be a lot of gossip. A lot of false rumors and gossip here with this Eight of Wands and this High Priestess and this Three of Cups. This person could be spreading rumors about you. So this is giving me the, the energy of like this person getting caught doing something or they're doing everything not to get caught. That could be what it is or not to be revealed or not to be found out because I feel like all of this at one point is going to be found out. It's going to be revealed. People are going to find out that this person was lying on you or doing something else. And you know, everybody's going to be like, oh, clutching pearls. Child, they about to be over there clutching, clutching pearls. I'm telling you, two of pentacles. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody is mentally unstable here. This is Two of Pentacles in reverse is falling underneath this King of Cups in reverse. The High Priestess in reverse. Like, somebody's very unstable here. Be mindful and protect your energy. Protect your space of this person. Look at this Ten of Swords crossing. Just wanted to come out. What's this Ten of Swords? Another crossing card. Somebody here could be an Aquarius or an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, okay? Show me more here. I'm going to tell you. Um, somebody's going through a lot of mental conflict here. Whoever this person is, they, they're they going. Look at this. Ten of swords, two of swords. 
The star came out crossing as well. Mm, 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 mm. Somebody is unstable. They think they stable. Look at this Libra energy on the bottom of the deck. Justice energy. Somebody is unstable, you guys. I don't know what else to say here. This could be somebody in your family. Again, we the high priest, not the high priestess, but the um, empress is out here in reverse. And now I'm seeing the justice card in reverse. The ten of pentacles upright with the three of pentacles. This could be somebody you work with or somebody that you is it that's in your family that you consider to know very well this for some of y'all this could be your very own mother um this could be someone that you are in a contract with married to whatever this situation is going on this community i'm telling you it's not there's an imbalance in this community there's an imbalance in this situation somebody here is being like I feel like somebody here is being falsely accused of something, but there's someone else here that's accusing somebody who's the actual, like, person who is the unbalanced, <laughs> weird one. I don't know what this is about. I mean, you take it how it resonates. Y'all know who this person is. Definitely could be dealing with a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius with this air sign energy, okay? Yeah. Air sign could be the one who's mentally unstable. Yeah. Fear. New perspective. Making plans in reverse. Planning. Moving forward. Yeah. Somebody here. Moving forward came out in reverse. And somebody here doesn't have a plan. Because like I said, whatever the, it is that they're doing, either people are not believing it or no longer believing it. And they're having to defend themselves. They thought they were going to get away with this. They thought they were going to get away with something here. Um, or whatever they thought they were doing is not working. It's not. It's just not going to work. Okay? There's no need for you to be afraid of whatever the hell is going on here. Um, I feel like this person is now... Ha okay. I feel like this person was big in their ego. Right? They thought everything was Gucci. But right now... They're finding out real quick. It's not Gucci anymore. Look at this night and day. This is like balance and imbalance energy. The black and the yellow. It's like night and day, right? It's like the devil and the angelic energy or something. That's that imbalance, okay? But I also feel like this person thought everything was cool. And now this person's afraid. They're afraid. And now they're in this tenosaurus, tuosaurus energy. <laughs> I don't, this is, all right, show me more here. I told you whoever this person was, was playing, playing, and they're about to F around and find out. I'm telling you, this is somebody here who did something nonstop, immature, or maybe even mentally unfit and unstable. Somebody thinks something is a game here, but they really are about to fuck around and find out. This is not no damn, I can't make it up. There's so much in their ego right now in this chaos agent energy, playing games and shit. Someone is purposely causing chaos in this five of wands energy just for entertainment purposes. Child. I don't know. Could be this air sign. Could be anybody out here. Aquarius, Sagittarius, Taurus, Scorpio. This person is... Throwing the rock, hiding their hand, and then sitting back and watching people fight over social media or watching comments or waiting or making comments here. This could be a troll on the internet. This is somebody here that's like saying something to try to push you to see how far you're going to go. Maybe this is what they did to you in the past. This could be what you're experiencing now, or this could be future energy. Just be mindful of that. Because whoever this person is, they care about what you do. So much so to the point where they want to create some form of chaos and then keep tabs on you and watch and see what happens next. Okay. But we are going to see what happens to the people that's creating all this um, conflict here. Somebody could be uh, stalking a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio here. Or a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio could be the one that's causing this confusion here too. Ghost it. Now, if the, if you are the water sign, this is somebody's watching and like stalking you and doing this to you. You're not paying this person any attention. You're ignoring the fuck out of this shit. 
You don't want any confrontation. You're somebody here who minds your own business. You could be a Virgo. You're just like minding your business. You are someone who doesn't like confrontation. You're not even looking for one. And you're really not interested. I'm telling you, you're not interested. This temperance just fell in my lap for some reason. So that spirit telling me you're protected from whatever this is. What else um, do we need to know here? I want to I want to find out uh, what's going to happen. Let's do this. Um, Spirit shows show me here what's going to happen to these people or this person. Because for some of y'all, it could be multiple people. For some of y'all, it's one person. Show me what's going to happen to this person or these people creating this chaos unnecessarily and playing these games with my collective. Show me what's going to happen to these people doing this negative energy. Like, somebody definitely could be a Virgo um, or a Pisces here. I got the Hermit and the High Priestess. Your ancestors are going to call judgment on them. These, I'm telling you, your ancestors are going to be calling. Your spirit guides and your spirit team, they know. You may even know what's going on. Or you see it, but you're not saying anything quiet. You know what I feel like, too? For some of y'all, this person may have a mental breakdown, five of swords. With this, with this hermit energy, the high priestess energy, and the five of swords, somebody can legit, like become a mute, not talk, and just have like these psychotic episodes or something. And I'll never talk about this stuff on this channel, but I don't know why this is coming up today, but honey, it's here. That's what's in the near future. I just saw what's on the three of wands on the bottom of the day. I don't know. Somebody's hearing voices. This person's going to start hearing voices. They're going to be real restless. What's going to happen to these people or this person? Uh-oh. Or this person... That's doing this, creating this chaos and playing these games. The star just came out crossing. What's going to happen to these people? They're going to have to watch you. Look at this shit. Could be a Capricorn here. The devil. Hold on, let me see. These people are going to continue to be imbalanced. These people are going to continue to be imbalanced. I feel like they're going to continue to try to play in your energy or continue to do this shit. Um... But they're going to have to watch you when you move on. They're going to have to watch you sit in some really nice, beautiful energy here. You're about to get something here. Show me more about what's going to happen to these people that are causing this chaos. Two of swords. Okay. Somebody's intuition could even be blocked. Somebody might be losing a home here. For some of y'all, somebody's going to lose a home. They don't know that yet. They don't, they won't, it. when it happens, it will, it'll be unexpected. I feel like these people are going to be having so much fun, enjoying life. And when it, ha whenever this is, this happens to them, they're not going to see it coming. That damn devil's back on the bottom of the deck again. I'm telling you, they're not going to see it coming. It's a weird reading tonight, y'all. I hope this resonates for somebody. This is blocked though. Seven of Wands. This is blocked. Yeah, this is blocked and there's victory here. See, yeah, somebody here was really, really trying to like cloud some vision or something coming to light here. I'm telling you, this could be somebody in your family or somebody that has a family. This could be a family situation. Hmm. Now show me the karma this person's gonna get. For these people. Spirit is calling judgment upon their ass. Just period. Gemini energy, Scorpio energy, the magician and the damn judgment energy. That's all y'all need to know. Judgment is going to be called against this person or people. If it's multiple people, more than one person involved, somebody's going to be hearing voices. Somebody may even have a mental breakdown. Someone here could also be losing a home unexpectedly or they could be having a great time and then boom, something happens and then like their life changes. Spirit is calling judgment. It's some shady ass energy. So these people, like I said, are hiding the rock, right? They're throwing the rock and hiding their hands. 
they're a fan of yours. They're le legit. They're they. This these people watch you. They are obsessed with you, or this person watches you, and they're obsessed with you. They're jealous. They, they this person can't keep your name and what you're doing out of their mouth. This this person is obsessed with you. So this is the kind of person who's like always got something to say when you walk in a room. Or they always have something to say if you posted something on social media. That's what this is. This person may also be like somebody who gives compliments. But they low-key, you know it's shade. But low-key, you know it's always shade. Trust your intuition. It is shade. Yeah, it's shade. This person doesn't like you. They actually are upset. But it's like they are so passive aggressive with it because they weak. They not strong enough. But they thought they had a big ass ego. They think they the shit now. Let's let's keep it real. But when it comes to you collective, they don't stand up next to you. There's no comparison. I'm telling you, this person just think the world of, they, of themselves, okay? They think the world revolves around them. And I feel like you... This is a situation where y'all hear this all the time. They feel like your light irritate your, you know, when your light irritates somebody's demons. Like this is giving me a situation where this could be a family member, a sister, a friend, a brother. It could, for some of y'all, it could be a parental figure. Somebody who's like always clashing with you or like always throwing shade, but it's like real passive aggressive. Like they don't never just say it. They just, it's always like, oh, you know, that, this is just an example, you know, that dress looks so nice. But it's like, oh, but, oh, but them shoes don't go. They don't match. It's like, what? <laughs> Unhappy with their own life. Uh-oh, what was this? High key just fell in my lap. Somebody loves attention. I'm telling you, somebody, because your light irritates their demons, it makes this person feel insecure. It makes this person feel like when you're around them or like even if you're not even in the same room with this person, I just feel like this person literally just doesn't like that you may get more attention than they do or they wish they had the attention that you do or they wish that they had like the style or the swag or it's clear to me that this person loves something about you so much to the point where they have to pay attention to you so much that they are about to lose their damn mind or they got to talk about you so much spread so much negative gossip or negative energy your way or send you to evil eye so much it's like so, this is so funny some of y'all this is an aries leo or a sagittarius somebody that may have cheated on you so some of y'all was like sleeping with the enemy here this person, you know, was lazy. This is somebody here who's taking shortcuts, who copies off of somebody else's work, but never can get anything, any ideas off the ground on their own. They always are copying off of somebody else or they always need the help of somebody else or they just simply are lazy and don't want to do the dang old work. They can never fully complete or finish something. They start it, but they never finish it always got a damn excuse and the reason this person always ha always has an excuse is because they have bad habits they're in that double energy either this person is suffering from some form of mental illness instability uh unstableness mental right um instability um this could be an addiction from something okay this could be a toxic mindset which it totally is for a lot of y'all dealing with this person they have a lot of toxic behaviors here they do. This person does not like the fact that you shine brighter than them. Glowed up and disappointed. They can't stand it. They can't stand this child. This is crazy. Things not going in your favor. Someone or something has caused you sorrow or trick or a trickster. Somebody wanted to try to fuck your life up or speak ill on your name or I don't. That's what this is giving. But instead, you ignored it. You're not paying attention to it. You're living your life. You are leveling up. You are. You have physically and mentally and financially transformed your own life. 
You made a change for yourself. You did the work. You looked in the mirror. You don't project anything onto other people. This person is feels insecure because they didn't do the work or they chose this person chose not to do the work. Anyway. I love y'all. <laughs> I love y'all. See you later. I the I don't I don't I don't know what we're gonna like name this one. What we're gonna title this one as cause like honey they are tripping. They are not. This person is not immortal. They're going to find out that they are not immortal. Okay. Like you can't do this to people and feel like judgment is not going to be called upon you, honey. God bless them. God pray for them. But I'll see y'all later. Okay. Subscribe to the channel. See you later. Bye.